is so weak from exposure from fires past that in this morning's fire, the safest way to put out the flames was from a ladder truck high above. There's signs that there were probably some, some people staying in there, some vagrants. Um, it's not confirmed. We didn't see anyone, but um, we did see signs of it. The abandoned prison sits on 300 acres owned by the city of Atlanta, but outside the city limits in unincorporated DeKalb County. According to the group Save the Old Atlanta Prison Farm, it's the last remaining parcel of a project set up about 100 years ago by the federal government. It was an honor farm, an experiment in rehabilitative incarceration. The site features two multi-acre ponds. This is the smaller of the two. But it's a very lovely little pond. In this YouTube video, community activist Scott Peterson talks about what the property could be if the city of Atlanta or if DeKalb County would clean it up. Just a few feet off of Key Road, you find another major problem here at the old prison farm, the old honor farm. And that's dumping. You see concrete, construction supplies, tires, old toilets. On the group's Facebook page, there are dreams that the property could become a network of trails and public parks. For now, it draws graffiti artists looking for a unique place to display their artwork, and it draws makers of movies and TV shows. This, this location has been used in several movies. I think the movie industry still, still uses it from time to time. Yeah, the Arnold Schwarzenegger movie Sabotage had scenes that were shot here, and same from the Brad Pitt movie Fury. The activists are just hoping that the property becomes known for much more than its blight. We're live in DeKalb County, Rebecca Schran, CBS 46 News. And Rebecca, that wasn't the only fire. Take a look at these pictures. It's amazing. No one was hurt when this barn in Cherokee <coughs> County burned to the ground. A neighbor saw the smoke coming from the barn. He went to check on the owner and then saw these huge flames. Thankfully, there were no animals inside and no one was hurt. Police in Dunwoody arrest.